Welcome to the RTA Mobility Management video series, Options for Travel Independence Overview. In this video, we will provide an overview of the transit options available to older adults and customers with disabilities in the RTA region. Images of CTA, Metra, and PACE vehicles in transit. Our first chapter will focus on both CTA and PACE buses. All CTA and PACE buses are fully accessible for older adults and customers with disabilities. A kneeling bus lowers. Both CTA and PACE buses have ramps for passengers. Just ask the bus driver to put the ramp down for you. A customer maneuvers her wheelchair onto the bus ramp. Customers do not have to use a scooter or wheelchair to request the ramp. A customer uses a cane and bus ramp to board the bus. Buses can also be lowered or kneeled, which makes it easier for passengers to step onto or off the bus. Once you board the bus and pay your fare, look for the priority seating area, which is located at the front of the bus. The customer using a cane sits in the priority seating area. The priority seating area is available for older adults and customers with disabilities, including those who use a wheelchair, scooter, or any mobility device. Customer using wheelchair maneuvers into the priority seating area. Additionally, braille signs, scrolling signs, and audio announcements are available on CTA and PACE buses. Please be considerate and give up your seat for customers with disabilities, elderly passengers, and expectant mothers. If you need any assistance with getting on or off the bus, securing a wheelchair or scooter, or with stop announcements, simply ask the CTA and PACE bus drivers who will be happy to help. A bus driver uses straps to secure the wheelchair in place. The second chapter is about riding the CTA L trains. A CTA L train leaves the station. All CTA L trains are accessible for older adults and customers with disabilities. CTA L trains have accessible cars and most CTA rail stations are wheelchair accessible with ramps or elevators. There are customer service assistants, CSAs, at all stations during the station's operating hours. A CSA assists a customer at a fare machine. Customer service assistants can help you purchase tickets, get to the train platform, customer using a scooter exits CTA elevator, get on and off the train, and provide assistance to the station exit. Customer boards the train. The CSAs are there to answer any questions about your ride. All rail cars have priority seating areas available for older adults and customers with disabilities. The CSA asks a passenger to relocate from priority seating, folds up the seat, and makes room for the scooter. Additionally, all CTA trains have audio announcements. Lawrence is next. Doors open on the left at Lawrence. Rail signs, visual maps, and emergency call buttons in case you need assistance. Newer rail cars also feature audio and visual door closing signals. Our third chapter is about riding the Metro trains. A Metro train approaches a station. All Metro trains are accessible for older adults and customers with disabilities. Most Metro stations are wheelchair accessible with ramps or elevators. A customer wheels her wheelchair out of a Metra station elevator. Also, most Metra stations have audio announcements and monitors that provide departure and arrival information. Metra trains have at least one accessible car. Look for the train cars marked with the universal accessibility sign or wheelchair symbol. Accessible Metra train cars have a lift or bridge plates. You do not need to have a mobility device to request the lift or bridge plates. A customer uses a white cane to guide herself over a bridge plate and onto a train. If you need help boarding and exiting a Metra train, look for a conductor to assist you. Conductors will step off the train at each stop to assist customers as needed. Customer using wheelchair boards a Metra train by using a passenger lift. 
Accessible cars have priority seating areas for older adults and customers with disabilities, including those who use a wheelchair, scooter, or any mobility device. ADA accessible Metro cars have scrolling signs for deaf and hard of hearing customers to read stop announcements. Additionally, on Metro trains, audio announcements are made so customers know which stop is next. The next stop will be 35th Street, Blue Jones. If you have any questions or need assistance while riding the Metro train, conductors will be happy to help. A conductor speaks with a customer using a wheelchair. The fourth chapter is about ADA paratransit. ADA paratransit is a shared ride origin to destination service for customers who are unable to use fixed route public transportation for some or all of their trips due to a disability or health condition. ADA paratransit service is provided within three quarters of a mile of a CTA or PACE fixed route bus or CTA L station. Paratransit runs the same days and hours as the CTA and PACE fixed route public transportation service in the area. You must schedule your ADA paratransit rides one day in advance. Image of an ADA paratransit ID card. Only individuals who have received ADA paratransit certification from the RTA can ride ADA paratransit service. Once certified, you will receive an ADA paratransit ID card. Be prepared to show it to the driver upon request when boarding the vehicle. Customer on ADA paratransit vehicle hands the driver cash fare. Fares for ADA paratransit can be up to twice the full fare required on fixed route public transportation service. Riders can pay their fare using exact cash, PACE vouchers, or your registered Ventra card when you schedule your trip. For more information about ADA Paratransit Service, call 312-663-4357. Our fifth chapter is about Dial-A-Ride Services. Dial-A-Ride is an accessible, curb-to-curb, -curb shared ride service offered to residents in select suburbs within the RTA region. It is a reservation-based service. A driver opens the side doors of a Dial-A-Ride bus to use the passenger lift. Some Dial-A-Ride programs are open to the general public, and others only provide service to older adults or passengers with disabilities. Typically, local townships or villages partner with PACE to operate Dial-A-Ride services. A customer who does not have a visible disability uses a lift to board the vehicle. The township or village also determines the rules for eligibility, fares, service area, operational hours, and reservation procedures. For more information about Dial-A-Ride programs in your area, please contact your township or village or visit www.pacebus.com. The sixth chapter is about PACE on-demand services. A PACE on-demand vehicle approaches. PACE On Demand is an accessible, reservation-based, curb-to-curb, shared ride service. All you have to do is call or book online and reserve your trip at least one hour or up to one day in advance, based on availability. Trip reservations are accepted on a first-come, first-served basis. It is available for anyone located and traveling within the on-demand service area. An on-demand driver lowers a lift at the rear of the vehicle for a passenger. Current on-demand zones, including hours of operation and phone numbers for reservations, can be found on www.pacebus.com slash on-demand. The fare for on-demand service is the same as PACE's fixed route public bus service. Passenger pays fare using a reduced fare card. Exact fare is required for on-demand services. Cash, reduced fare permits, and Ventra are also accepted. To learn more about using Ventra for CTA, PACE, Metra, and on-demand service, visit www.ventrachicago.com or call 1-877-NOW-VENTRA. 
Our final chapter explains programs offered by RTA that assist older adults and people with disabilities with using public transportation in the region. Audience members ask questions at an RTA group transit orientation presentation. An RTA travel trainer explains train accessibility and a metro schedule to a customer using a wheelchair. RTA offers a one-on-one -on -one individual travel training program that teaches customers with disabilities and older adults how to plan accessible trips, use accessible buses and trains, and learn a specific trip if necessary. The RTA also offers a group transit orientation program, which provides group presentations at agencies that serve older adults and people with disabilities. The presentations provide information on bus and train accessibility, planning trips, paying fares, how to travel safely, and the benefits of using public transportation. You can sign up for free one-on-one -on -one travel training or free group transit orientation training by calling 312-663-4357 or email traveltraining at rtachicago.org. To help make CTA, Metra, and PACE fixed route public transportation rides more affordable, the RTA also offers reduced fare programs to older adults and people with disabilities. Customer's companion uses reduced fare card while customer using scooter passes through a CTA accessible swing gate. You can find out more information on the RTA's fare programs by visiting www.rtachicago.org or calling 312-913-3110. Thank you for watching the RTA's Mobility Management Options for Travel Independence Overview video. For more information on using transit in the RTA region, please check out the other videos in this series, including how to decide what transit options are right for you, accessibility features on CTA, Metra, and PACE, trip planning on CTA, Metra, and PACE, what to expect while riding on buses and trains, and community safety and problem solving. You can find the other videos in this series by visiting RTA Chicago's YouTube page at www.youtube.com slash RTA Chicago Land or www.rtachicago.org. For more information, RTA at www.rtachicago.org or 312-663-4357. CTA at www.transitchicago.com or 888-968-7288. At www.pacebus.com or 847 364 7223. Metra at www.metra.com or 312 322 6777. Ventra at www.ventrachicago.com or 877-669-8368.